my favorite things to solo over is really just the old Pink Floyd Neil Young thing, E minor A7. Hey folks, it's Rick, and this is what, I haven't done a talky talk video for a while, so I thought I'd do one um, of a couple things that I want to talk about. Let's see, first is this pedal back here. I'm going to do a video on it, I suppose. I'm trying to get, um, trying to learn it better. Gold Jetter. Never tried a Brad Jetter pedal before, and this one was lent to me by Chip, and I really love it so far. I mean... I don't want to take it off the board, but this is chips, and so I, if I really love it that much, I have to buy one eventually. It's got two sides. The one side is, the one side is very, um, very clean. I have to drive up pretty high. That's the drive at twelve. I don't want to do the whole review right now, but if you crank up the drive, it's still not oversaturated. It's really beautiful. My last video, I did it all with that pedal. I love this side of it so far. This side I haven't really messed with a whole bunch. Apparently, it pushes more mid-range. Well, right now, more volume. Let's turn that down. Compared to this side. setting and it makes it more compressed it's like shift into high gear baby That sounds beautiful. Uh, really great pedal. Maybe check one out. Other things to talk about. Shirts. I got shirts. Uh, guitar time with Rick. If you see the beginning of my videos every time the thing that spins in. Um, go check them out. You don't have to buy them. I don't care if anyone buys them. But, you know, it didn't really cost me anything to set them up. Because I already had the design. If you guys want to buy shirts, that's cool. And there's women's shirts. And there's uh, hoodies kids shirts okay so this was something really cool that happened I was sitting today and I looked at my phone and I got a Facebook message which I don't get a lot of Facebook messages uh, it was this girl that I knew because I was her eighth grade music teacher elementary school not elementary it was elementary and middle school combined because this is a Catholic school anyway I don't know I don't think I want to give up her name I'm, I didn't ask her if I could was a nice girl she was in a bad class that class was bad man they they would do very bad stuff in my class um, but they didn't make me quit teaching because they were nice they were bad but they were nice um, there's other kids that I don't know might have helped me change my mind about my career path she sent me a message and she said uh, hey mr. Romanelli she called me mr. Romanelli she spelled my name wrong but that's okay uh, if you remember me of one of your students back at St. I won't say the name of the school. 
I was in the same class as blah, 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 who eventually took voice lessons with your wife. Yes, I remember. Overall, our class was a freaking nightmare. And when we had class with you, they were the worst and you and never behaved. Sorry you had to deal with that. <laughs> I was pretty shy and really quiet. Social anxiety on stun. But I was always a music nut, so I looked forward to your class, regardless of what the hell my classmates raised. Uh, what hell my class rates raised. Classmates raised. One day, you brought in a bass guitar to show us. I, you explained the instrument a bit and asked if anybody wanted to try playing it. A few volunteers plunked around on it, but any instructions you gave just led to a chorus of dumb 8th graders laughing and twisting the instructions into innuendo. Even with all the taunting and my almost crippling social anxiety, sorry about that, I remember needing to play that bass and I totally surprised myself by volunteering to try next. I remember it so clearly you showed me how to sit and hold the bass and explained the basics of how to play finger style and at first I could hear the class laughing and joking but when I started playing they all faded away until I couldn't hear them at all it was just me and the bass I was absolutely enamored anyway I started taking bass lessons and very soon after that played all through high school in several capacities and eventually studied at Berkeley College of Music. I even earned a Bass Achievement Scholarship Award while I was there. I've since played on a ton of records and currently play in a band that's toured all over the US, Canada, and Europe. It just dawned on me today that you were the one who connected me with the bass, my most favorite thing in the world. I just wanted to say thank you for it. It is my greatest joy in life. Anyway, I hope this very long message finds you well. Sincerely. What a beautiful thing. <laughs> yeah. Well, she would have probably found music. But, and I, I didn't teach her anything fancy. I just... I was probably just trying to get through another class with that terrible 8th grade class. I was younger then. I was probably 30 years old at the time. Right around there. 31, 32. Anyway, that made my day. That made my week. That made a lot. So, um, I know people would be like, what bands does she play with? If I told you that, then you'd know who she is. And I don't want to... Uh, share her information. She talks about social anxiety and stuff, and I didn't really ask her permission. So uh, maybe if she changes on that front, and I don't know. I'm not going to ask her. It's really great. Really great to get that message. By the way, we booked some gigs. Second breakfast. And they're coming up this summer. Not a lot. Just a couple. But I get to play in front of an audience again. That'll be magical. <laughs> 